Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O. This video, I know we've talked about in other videos, but I'm going to do a video where I just talk about antidiuretic hormone and add a few things here that you haven't heard before. So what have we heard already? Antidiuretic hormone is actually produced by the hypothalamus, by special neurosecretory cells. It is stored and released from the posterior pituitary gland. So let's go ahead and look at what it does. So here we see the, 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 at the top there, the cells that are producing it, it being stored and released from the posterior pituitary. And then let's look at its function. So it does uh, primary, so we talked about produced by the hypothalamus, released by posterior pituitary gland. Its primary function is to increase the reabsorption of water in the kidneys. It does also constrict arterioles. Remember, its job is to increase blood volume and blood pressure. It's going to be released when we need to prop our blood pressure up. Let's go ahead and look at what these channels look like. So um, under the presence of this hormone, there's going to be more water channels that are going to pop open that are going to allow for more water to be reabsorbed. So let's talk about how powerful this is. I like to talk about how powerful it is by looking at the opposite, what happens when you don't have enough of it. If you don't have enough antidiuretic hormone, you can actually develop a condition called diabetes insipidus, where you just generate massive amounts of urine. But you can temporarily develop this condition under the influence of alcohol. So people talk about alcohol being a very powerful diuretic, which it is. People talk, you know, use terms like breaking the seal and this kind of stuff. But the simplest way that, is, that I explain it to students is, if you drink four beers, you're going you're gonna to pee out. You're going to micturate a six-pack. That's how powerful of a diuretic that alcohol is. And it is that powerful because of its impact on antidiuretic hormone. Your kidneys, and we'll, we'll cover the kidneys later, but your kidneys take 50 gallons of fluid a day, and without uh, and, and, they, and we le end up making a liter, liter and a half of urine a day. But without antidiuretic hormone, you'd produce somewhere in the ballpark of 27 liters of urine a day. That's how powerful of an impact this hormone has. So if you don't have enough of it, temporarily because of you're under the influence of alcohol, or permanently because of a condition where like diabetes insipidus, where you've, you're going to have to get this, actually um, get the injections of this, or, or get this medication in you, or else you'll produce way too much urine and you can become dehydrated and die. Okay, so that is just a few more facts about antidiuretic hormone. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.